We know that the WTO will issue its ruling this week. The question is when, and when that happens, here's what it means. This is a long-running dispute between the U.S. and uh, the WTO about sanctions or about subsidies uh, that were being used by Airbus. So as a result, this agreement or this ruling by the uh, WTO means that the U.S. will be allowed to put on tariffs on European goods. Now, exactly how much remains to be seen. It is likely that you will see some of these top possible targets, whether it's cheese, olive, scotch, leather, aircraft fuselage. There's a whole list of things that could be taxed by the United States that come from Europe, and we'll have to find out exactly what those tariffs are. As I mentioned, this is a long-running dispute. It goes all the way back to 2004 with Boeing and the U.S. saying, hey, look, there are subsidies from these federal governments or from these uh, countries in uh, Europe to Airbus, and as a result, we need to have relief. By the way, as you take a look at shares of Boeing and Airbus over the last 10 years, guys, we're showing you this because for the most part, these two stocks have tended to trade in tandem over time, and that's still the case here, even with the split, very much a little bit of a split there at the end between Airbus and Boeing. Keep in mind, there is a case against the United States brought by the EU and Airbus that the WTO will be ruling on. That's expected to happen early next year. So while we get the ruling here in the U.S. against the Europe, you'll see the Europeans get a ruling against the U.S. likely sometime early next year.